Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design this tank. So here we will mainly focus on this area. Here I have added extra thickness. So if you see this part in right view, it looks like this. And if you see in section view, it looks like this. And for this, we will use few surface technique. Now, before I start, first you like this video and subscribe this channel. Do this first. And thank you for this. Now, let's start the part. And for this, go to new part solid, assign the name, uncheck use default template, and say OK. Now from here you select a proper part template, so I will go with this, this is a metric template and I will say ok. Now to start this, I will go with revolve onto the right datum plane, normal, I will switch off all the datums. Now first I will place a datum center line somewhere here. And then I will draw a sketch center line somewhere here. Now I will start with a line just like this. I will make it symmetric from here till here with this. And this length is 500. Now I will draw the rough sketch. Half of this, I will mirror it with this reference. Now the dimension. So this one is 5. Then this diameter, this is 300. Then this flange, this is 25. Now the sketch is done, say OK. Let it be 360 degree, now say OK. So always go with add material feature first and then remove material feature. So first feature is done, now the second feature which is extrude feature onto this face, normal. Go for reference and select this face as a reference, close, normal. Draw a circle. From here, just like this, then the dimension from here till here, this is 2, say OK. Take it this side, uncheck remove material, and then this is 40. Say OK. Now select this feature and go for mirror. Switch on your datum plane. Select this mid datum plane and say OK. Switch off your datum plane. So second feature is also done. Now the next feature, which is again a revolve feature onto the right datum plane, normal. Now once again, first you place a datum center line. Somewhere here, using shift key and middle mouse button, you can drag it down. Now draw the rough sketch. So start from here, go like this, then like this, come down, like this, come down, and like this. Now the dimension. So this thickness is 5, and then from here till here, this is 50, this is 100 and this flange is 25. So the sketch is done, just say OK and OK. Now the next feature is adding a thickness material here. So for that, 
first you need to drag this handle above this then move your cursor here select this surface control c to copy this surface and control v to paste this surface now hold the control key and select this surface say okay so i have just copied these two surfaces here once you have copied this now you can bring it down now you go for a sketch onto the top datum plane sketch say normal and draw a circle now this is the 150 So I'll create a sketch here. Say okay. Now using this sketch, I will trim this surface. Now once this is done, select the sketch and go for project. Now select this surface and this surface. Say okay. So now you have projected that sketch somewhere here. now select the surface and go for trim and select this curve flip this direction inside see the preview so now this surface is left and this area is trimmed just say okay now select the surface and go for thicken take it as 2 and say okay now i can hide this so now you have successfully added this thickness so the add material features are done now i'll go with the remove material feature and for that first i'll go to extrude i'll select this face normal i'll go for reference i'll select this face close normal and then i'll draw a circle take the dimension from here till here this is 2 say okay flip the direction say to next okay same way extrude onto this surface normal go for reference select this face as a reference normal draw circle dimension from here till here this is 2 say okay flip the direction say to next say okay now create the hole so go to hole select this face switch on your datums this die is 10 now for diameter position drag one handle to the center axis go to placement and make it diameter pcd is 325 and this one you attach with this datum plane angle you make it zero now for the depth you just go for to selected and select this face say okay select this hole go for pattern go for axis pattern select this axis 360 degree and this is 16 items say okay
Now select this pattern and go for mirror. Switch on your datum plane, select this plane and say OK. Similarly, create hole onto this face. Switch on your datums. Drag this handle to this axis. Make it diameter position. PCD is 125. And this handle you attach with this. Now make this angle 0. Again for depth, you go to two selected and select this bottom face. Say OK and pattern it with axis pattern. Select this axis 360 degree and this is 8 numbers. Say OK. Switch off all your datums. Control D. Now your part is almost done. Just add a couple of rounds. So add round here. Hold the control key. Select this edge. Then you select this edge. This one. This one. Then here. And here. This is two. Say so, okay. And your tank is done. Now if you go to section view and select your right datum plane, take it as section A, say okay. You can see this extra thickness here. And this part is done. Now if you find this video helpful, then like the video and subscribe the channel and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.